All right, hey, welcome to my channel. I am the Bearded Dad. I just got into woodworking and I'm starting to build up my garage with tools so that I can start building things, preferably fly fishing things. It's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. As I keep growing, I'll keep making videos and show you guys what I'm working on, what I'm buying, what I'm not buying, hard lessons I learned, and the good lessons I've learned as well as others. All right, let's jump into it. We're gonna talk about air compressors. Uh, I purchased two. Yes, I purchased two of them. Uh, the first purchase was the pancake, the very traditional beginner, entry level, great for pneumatic tools, not a big deal. Six gallon pole bowl from Close for $99. Hell of a deal if I tell you what. Uh, this one works amazing. However, there are some things that I needed for that I wasn't expecting or the capacity that I would need in order to actually clean up the garage from time to time and blow out the dust. Since I don't have a filtration system or a dust collector or any of that stuff. And that is why I decided to go ahead and spend $300 on the 20 gallon one. Yes, I have two air compressors. Uh, the 20 gallon makes more sense now. Um, one of the biggest things I do is I take uh, an, air, an air gun uh, and, and just spray out the entire garage every other day. Um, a lot of dust kicks up from when I was creating cleats for the fresh lead wall. Um, just normal stuff that I'm just building inside the garage and it gets dusty and there's kid stuff in here. My wife's stuff's in here. There's all kinds of random stuff that I just want to keep clean instead of having a firm film of dust on there. Uh, and that's why I went with the 26 and gallon one. Now I will tell you this, I did make another mistake. Uh, when I purchased this one, uh, on the 31st of January, I was in a hell of a deal. Uh, the very next day. This one came out uh, plus six gallons, so a 26 gallon coal for $329. Big mistake, I I'm not one for returning things. I kind of go, you know what, this one will be fine, 20 gallons to start here. But if you are just starting out and you're gonna do framing or small home interior stuff or you know whatever that to-do list has got on there that you wanna accomplish for this new 2023 year, by all means, go with the pancake, go with the cobalt. Uh, against $99, um, one of the biggest things about the pancake air compressors is they're all pretty much the same at this low level. Um, you know, you, you're going to spend anywhere from $99 to $20, depending on what's on sale. And there always is one on sale at Lowe's. Uh, there's your Craftsman, there are Cobalts. I think the Walt actually has a pancake one there as well. Um, go with the one that's cheapest. That's all you're looking for, um, especially if you're just using pneumatic air guns, uh, and pneumatic tools and stuff like that. You don't need anything bigger than a six gallon one. Um, the compressor is gonna come on, it's loud, but you're not gonna use it as much. Um, I think I went through a entire thing of 18 gauge uh, brad nailers and then it finally turned back on um, to, to refill its tanks back up. Um, another thing too is that if you are gonna invest your money into buying nice air gun, Make sure you look at what the PSI rating is for those 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 air tools. Um, most of the stuff you get at Lowe's will run off of the pancake ones. At six gallons, not a big deal. Another thing too is that with the bigger one, um, it's a lot more airflow, a lot more time to blow things off, get that kick of film and everything off of there as well. Uh, it does run the Mac air guns just the same as everything else does. It's no big deal. Um, the bigger the size just allows for me to blow off all the dust, but definitely the smaller one helps just get the job done. If you need something quick and simple and then you blow, blow dust anywhere, go with the $99. All right, let's talk about accessories or lack thereof accessories. When you purchase either one of these at any of them, so that's gonna be a doll one, it's going to be a craftsman one, a pole ball one, any type of air compressor you buy, it comes with nothing, nothing. So look at spending at least another $100 in, and accessories per se. Um, one of the biggest things you're gonna need is going to be a air hose. Um, this thing, I think it was about 30 or $40. Um, you're also going to need to pick up an accessorizing kit. Um, Cobalt makes a great one. Uh, small little bag comes with stuff. You get an air hose, you get something for your car. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff. But the biggest thing that you have to look out for is you do have to buy the fittings, the air hose and everything else that comes with it. Um, the cobalt pancakes and the all air compressors by themselves come with the quick releases on the front or the sides as well. Um, so don't worry about doing this stuff too, but it's the accessories you have to 
install a little bit of the hardware on there. Um, if you've ever done plumbing, it's very simplistic. You basically just put it on, screw it on, and you're good to go, right? Um, you do do air testing on there. You can connect the hose to make sure there's no air leaks, stuff like that. You'll know very quickly if it's connected or not. For me, you got a little air in my beard, per se. Um, but again, expect to spend about $100 extra on accessories that you'll need to just use these uh, two air compressors or any air compressor as, as needed to do it. Next is the, the, the air tools. They range anywhere from, I think I saw a pneumatic uh, nail gun for $100 all the way up to, I think I saw one for $400. Um, this can going to be on you, it's going to be on quality, what you want to do. Um, I, I don't know much about those. Um, I just went with Bosch. It, it was a, it's a well trusted, from what I understand, the brand, um, especially when it comes to air tools and stuff like that. So again, hundred dollars minimum you're going to spending um, on just the accessories to blow air. Um, you're going to spend another hundred dollars to to three hundred dollars for the actual pneumatic tools themselves. Um, when you go to Lowe's, talk to those guys. Um, you know they they most of them have been in the trades for a long time. It's mostly retired jobs. That's why you see the older generation there. Um, they just do it for fun and they can fill the information. All right, well, that finishes it. Uh, I think we went over everything pretty well. If you have any questions or comments or anything, go ahead and drop them below. I will do my best to answer them. Um, if you have questions about the accessories, what to buy, what I've used, stuff like that, go ahead and ask those. I have no problem helping people. That's what I like to do. I go ask questions so I can help other people. My errors and my mistakes are your fortune, as I say. Um, but yeah, again, you need something that's quick and easy to use for air tools. This is your one that you want. If you need air tools plus blowing out dust from your garage and all the stuff like your kids' bikes and your wife's stuff that's in here or all the outdoor stuff, this is the one for you. Go ahead and spend $300. Um, but again, if you're low on cash, $99, that's the best way to go, man. And you're going to need a, a nail gun anyway to drive nailers, uh, especially when you start doing things. Um, especially doing quick and dirty, dirty jobs, as they say. Um, but yeah, but if you guys like this video, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and also, um, if you're ready to learn videos, pop something too. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.